Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for April 22nd to the 28th of 2019. Alright Sagittarius, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It cannot and will not resonate with every single one of you. Uh, it's just not possible. And um, if you guys want to check out your other placements for your weeklies as well as your monthlies, you might find that sometimes um, your other placements resonate better than your sun sign because again guys, we're not just our sun sign. So check those out as well. And if you guys haven't, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all of your support. And I love um, getting to see you guys in the comments and the community. Um, so again, I really do appreciate it. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that wiggly bell to have you notified um, whenever I'm posting up a video or going live. All right, Sagittarius. Um, this week we have the Sun in Taurus, first full week of Sun in Taurus here. Um, I'm really feeling that fixed earth Venusian energy because Taurus is ruled by um, Venus. So it's very much um, focused on taking things slower, stop and smelling the roses, experiencing more pleasure, enjoyment, um, also possibly getting back out into nature, having more um, earthy, fertile energy. So Sagittarius, also this week we have Capricorn, I'm sorry, Pluto going retrograde in Capricorn. Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008. It's going to leave it in 2024. Um, it's been a really slow, gradual process overall of releasing any unnecessarily Capricornian traits, such as our responsibilities, traditions, um, torturous goals and achievements that we just can't seem to hit, but for some reason we're still holding on to and still trying to painfully reach. Um, any type of, again, uh, authority complexes, we're handing that all over slowly throughout this, um, throughout this transit. And for Sagittarius, it's been in your second house of value, possessions, money, and materially owned things. Um, our self-esteem, as well as our talents. Um, by this point, you may have learned a real lot about money and the way it corrupts, as well as it empowers you in your life and in the world since 2008. Um... As it goes retrograde, you might be looking at how to control your finances without being controlled by them, okay? Um, we might be realizing that that modern capitalistic worship of the almighty dollar um, and what it takes to get it and that, that incessant grind of, you know, you must be tortured to make money is really not as valuable as we thought it was. It's disconnecting us from really what is valuable. So, Sagittarius, let's look at what is coming up for you guys this week in career and general life. I'm looking with my um, Gustav Klimt deck here. So let's check out what's coming in this week for you. What will be happening for career and general life this week for my Sagittarians. Getting the stars. What else are we getting here? Ooh, the hero font reversed. Interesting. Ooh, wow, you guys have three major arcana that have come out now. Death. What's this? I'm almost, it's almost like I'm like losing my breath. I'm like not talking or anything, but like you guys just kind of made me lose my breath there for a second. Um, the stars, the hero got reversed. Death, the knave of pentacles. We're definitely going through some transformative processes um, based on where our hopes and dreams lie. And we're realizing maybe this week that the way we've been trying to get it and in the traditional sense has not been working and we need to look at this from a different perspective we need to approach this in a less traditional less structured manner clarify the stars the hero font reversed here for my sagittarians what do they need to know about these energies coming up in general life and work this week yeah the devil exactly remember when i was talking about you know unhealthy um relationships with money unhealthy relationships in terms of you know how we're achieving money and how we're you know achieving um honestly, any type of lofty goals or even fame, almost in a way fame or I'm getting or what's the word I'm looking for? Just more recognition and appreciation at your job and what, in, in what you're doing in your field. And we have this obsessive energy here of getting so stuck in that, well, I need to keep on working. If I'm not like rising and grinding and then grinding until like 2 a.m. and then getting a few hours of sleep and continuing that every day, then I'm not going to be successful. And that's not an appropriate way to think about this. That is a negative tendency. And a lot of people um, are really stuck in this mindset of that's the way we have to work to get success. That is not true. That is almost never true. So please, I mean, yes, hard work brings you money and it will pay off, but we have to also work smarter, not harder sometimes. 
realize where we're putting in work that's really not coming back to us. So the stars we might have these amazing goals, but we're realizing that we're getting stuck in this energy of, again, that um, obsessive grind energy because we have these goals and we're needing to look at this differently, approach it differently. Clarify the hero font reverse to the death card here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles definitely has to do with work. How are we approaching work and how is it unhealthy this week? If we have goals, we need to find different ways to get to them. Work on it. You're almost there also. If you guys have been wondering, you know, or feeling like you are not getting what you have been paying for in something, you know, if or sorry, if you haven't been getting back what you've been putting into work, it's going to change. You're going to feel that change this week. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is, you know, there's eight months. You know, Pentacles can sometimes mean months in terms of timing for in a very traditional sense here. They are usually the longest to, in terms of timing, they usually take the longest. But the Eight of Pentacles, to me, it talks about the eight months in a pregnancy. There's a ninth month um, left here. So she knows that it's coming soon and she must prepare. So it's saying you have to prepare for your work situation to change. Prepare for it because it is about to change. It's about to shift um, and you're about to see a huge shift here, especially with the death card. Death, clarify death, the name of pentacles for my Sagittarians this week. This is a nice energy though. It really feels like this Libra full moon has had you realize that you have been imbalanced in the way you've been approaching work. You were in balance and you were approaching it in a way that was necessary. Wow, yeah. It's bringing you guys empowerment. I mean, how many... We have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. You actually... Scorpio, I believe, also had that many. Or maybe it was Libra. I don't know. Check out their readings as well if you um, have any placements there. Because they had a lot of major arcanas as well. I believe it was Libra. I'm not 100% though. Could have been Scorpio too. But there is a lot of major themes that have been kicked up, I think, with that Libra full moon. And as we enter this um, fixed sign season. Because again, Uranus is in Taurus. So I do feel that we're having a lot of huge changes, huge shifts that are coming up because of that energy here. Um, and for you guys, it's really making you look at how we're approaching work and how we're how can we work our best. And you're getting more empowered about it and be like, wow, I actually have accomplished a lot. I have taught myself a lot. And what I've learned from all this has made me a better, stronger, and more powerful, not just worker, but leader here. And now I can move instead of what I was doing. I'm going to make some huge changes here. I'm not going to approach work in that horrible way that I was approaching it. And I'm going to start being more empowered, delegating tasks to other people, standing up for myself, being confident, knowing that I'm going to get to where I get, where I want to get to without having to stress myself out, make myself exhausted it feel bad feel like why am I in this constant cycle of you know just feeling trapped in this trapped in this stressful negative energy that doesn't seem to take you where you want to go it's approaching it from that emperor position of no I can do this and I can create this and I can I can um lead that lead myself to victory here I have an idea and I'm going to work on it they have a pentacles is kind of new uh, monetary new beginnings in terms of ideas in terms of um you know things to do with money, career, finances, um, ideas, um, creative ideas, creative projects, things that we're building, literally. So again, um, go with a different type of energy. Approach things differently from a new se new point of view, a new sense here, okay? Um, you're almost there. You're going to start seeing the things come to fruition. You're going to see this stuff come about. We cannot keep going about it from this position, Okay. Alright, Sagittarius, let's check out a Stacey DeMarco Oracle card for you from the Halloween Oracle. Advice from Spirit for my Sagittarians. For this week, advice from your higher selves from Spirit from Mother Earth, Archangels. This thing to say to my Sagittarians. Ooh, what's this? Dawn. Amazing, guys. Dawn. The light after the darkness. I love it. This is great. Invisibility also came up. So remember to be authentic with yourself at this time too. Be authentic with what you need, want, and um, don't let anything hold you back there. Dawn is a light after the darkness. Should you receive the dawn card, you are being reminded that there is always a fresh start and a new beginning to be had. Change is unstoppable and even the most difficult times will pass no matter how devastating they may seem. Hope is one of the most powerful motivating forces in the universe and it's being indicated here. So yeah, amazing, beautiful. You have hope on your side. The dawn is approaching. Know that, okay? Again, with the Eight of Pentacles, know that the dawn is here. 
Let's look at Love For You. I'm going to look at it with my classic Rider weight. All right, Sagittarius. Let's look at Love. Love For You guys this week. Love and relationships for my singles, my couples, Sagittarians. Anything that they need to know will be happening or coming in April 22nd to the 28th of 2019. Six of Swords. Ooh, King of Swords. They're flying right out now. It's coming up for my Sagittarians. For love. Four of Swords. What's this? The Sun. I'm going to get some clarifiers. Clarify the Six of Swords. The King of Swords. We're going to keep it at four. You guys are a solid four this week. Because I do feel that for some reason... Sometimes I pull five, sometimes I pull six, but right now you guys are four. So again, there's a lot of new foundational energy here this week for you. New foundations for work, for love. This is hitting you there. What do we value I'm getting? Okay, in terms of love, clarify what the six of swords is. Let's bring up that energy for my Sagittarians and love this week. Eight of wands. Yeah, there could be movement. Some of you guys are literally moving literally traveling, literally moving, maybe you're going on vacation, or you're traveling with a partner to maybe sign some new documents because you're moving. I mean, you guys might literally be moving, and you're signing the papers, you're moving in together. Clarify the King of Swords. Yeah, High Priestess. Clarify the Four of Swords. King of Pentacles and the Sun. Take it slow. There's a lot of fast moving energy there. Um, the decisions that we need to make, communication about it. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Oh, this is new beginnings. Prosperous new beginnings, but it also comes out with the Eight of Cups. So again, I see three cards about moving this week. Three cards. Three of my all three of my cards that indicate moving to me specifically are here. I'm sorry, these cards are really kind of janky because had some water. They, they, they're my oldest deck and they've been around. They got hit with some water from somebody in the past twice, unfortunately. So that's why they are like this. <laughs> it's fun, right? All right. So let's see. We have a lot of interesting energy here. Um, there's again, a lot of movement this week. We have one, two, three of my cards that all talk about moving. Um, the King of Swords, the High Priestess. May this is saying to as you make this decision and see things very clearly, we're seeing the black and the white of it. Sometimes I see the high priestess as almost she has something that she has type of knowledge. She's almost like somewhere to me an energy between Pisces and Libra. She can see things that we cannot. She can see the black and the white of it. She can see both she can see all the sides of it. She has all the knowledge that we need to know what to do here. And, um, again, there's a decision. There's something that we're signing, something that we need to look at and take very seriously. Um, King of Swords is very authoritative. He has the answers. He has, you know, he knows what to do. There's no questioning him. And with Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords, we're definitely moving on from something in the past here. We're having a lot of momentum towards, you know, this decision, towards coming together, towards seeing the situation in, in a new light as we prepare to move or as we are moving making some great decisions and we're going to need to rest because again there's a lot of forward moving momentous energy make sure you're taking time to rest here um if we're dealing with a an aquarius or i, I don't know for some reason i'm getting a pisces an aquarius a pisces possibly um possibly a taurus although i think that taurus is showing up in a lot of the readings because we're in taurus season now um there is movement towards this person but we have to be willing to leave the past in the past here and move towards this in a in a good way here we have to be fully ready and willing to recognize you know are we moving away from the eight of cups here and moving towards the ten of cups are we ready for this new beginning or are we not willing to let something go for me with all this movement cards here you guys have no problem letting something go so congrats you guys are amazing on that and if you are having trouble with it and you're having trouble like releasing something or understanding it meditate meditate both of these together meditate your higher self will help you through this will divine you the answers all right but to me this is showing a lot of happiness and contentment you guys are having a brand new beginning in love that is contentment happiness coming together um it's just so much passion and wonderful sunny energy here so i say go for it move on 
make the move, make the move here. Let something go. Be ready to um, push forward in a new direction in love here and experience some really true happiness and contentment. So, Sagittarius. Let's get a card for singles for my Doreen Virtue Romance Angel Oracle deck here. By the way, this is the classic Rider Waite deck. If I didn't mention it. So let's see. Sagittarian Singles. Sagittarian Singles this week. We're getting healing family issues. Yeah, as we let something go, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. As you move and as you move on, it feels like we're forgiving our parents or forgiving the relationship they had or what they taught us here. We're willing to let that go and see that for what it is and be like, that's not happiness for me. That's not what I want. I want something more. I'm looking for this and I'm ready to let everything go in the past here. Some of us I'm getting are moving really far to be with somebody. You and your partner or you in a new relationship are moving in together and it's not where you've been living. It's a big move because there's a lot of movement cards here. But it's a stable, wonderful home. It's a great time to do so. All right, Sagittarius couples. Who free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, guys, free yourself. Um, for some of us, I didn't want to bring this up, but I guess I will. Some of us might be leaving relationships, but what we're going towards is happiness, contentment, and a new beginning that is good, possibly with somebody else. So if you are leaving a relationship, because there is a lot of moving cards, it doesn't feel that negative to me. Because again, this feels like new, fresh beginnings, like a fresh breeze of air right, kind of like rolling in here. So this is really, really nice. So whether you're leaving a relationship, you're taking it to the next level. Regardless, there is movement forward here. There's a lot of movement forward, a lot of leaving something in the past, releasing something here. Um, but yeah, freeing yourself. This is um, for my couple of ones, free yourself. So may, make sure to take back control of your life here. We might be feeling kind of trapped. Maybe we've relinquished control to someone else, or maybe we feel smothered in our relationship or even our career. As we tune into your, um, as you tune into yourself, you'll sense the specific areas where this message applies to you. Um, in what ways do you feel limited or constrained? Um, trust the answers you receive when you go into meditation. Kind of ask that, okay? Um, to experience passion, you must first allow yourself to feel deep emotions, okay? Um, you may come up, come up against areas in your life where you harbor discontent. Simply by acknowledging these areas, you bring light to the situation and allow room for the angels to help you, okay? As you commit to taking back control of your life, your feelings will naturally thaw and reawaken. This leads you to greater capacity to love yourself, your partner, and your experiences. So, Sagittarius, um, have a wonderful week. Um, if you guys haven't, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And again, if you want to book a private reading, all the information is right below this video in my description box. Check out your other weeklies as well as your monthlies and um, have a blessed week, guys. Thank you.